Okay, I think we've got everybody going here. And here we are. Hello, Diane. Okay, I'm going to bring up one over to the up one screen and the other one to the other screen here. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, dear. That one's going to stay there. There we are. That's what it was for. And that goes over. Oh, come on. Go to this one. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we are. Okay, we're live on both. I don't see that. I have more. I think I should probably do that, but we're good. We are good. Here we go. Well, let's get working on this right now. And I'm going to walk right in front of you here. Oh, and I'm bald headed. <laughs> put my hat on. Keep my beanie warm. There we go. Dang it on that. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Starting out, we're just gonna, gonna work on this. Uh, and this is something I do like about Facebook is I, I have a slight delay. And so I could see if I'm smacking away and adjust. Oh, that's good. Well, there we go. Zero in on that, too. Marina, boom, boom, boom. Moon, moon. This week I won't be around Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. So I just will give me a heads up there. I'll be visiting the parental units. So checking in on them. In Spokane, Spokane, Washington. My sister's there right now. She texted me and their, their refrigerator died on them. So it's good that she was there to help them out. Blue Moon. Right. <laughs> Hi, Larry's on YouTube. We got Madonna on YouTube. Hello. So we got the two different uh, platforms going at the same time. I'm sure there's probably a way of syncing them together, but uh, I'm not the most gifted when it comes to this. <laughs> Thank 
Got my YouTube crowd going over here, and I've got my Facebook crowd going over here, so <laughs> uh, that's gonna work. <laughs> all right. I think it's all right. Henry says I should play Jeopardy, but if, if you got to a sports question or something like that, I'm in serious trouble. <laughs> Geography? History? Got it. But uh, it switched to uh, movies, and uh, I'm in serious trouble. Oh yeah, Madani. Yo, you're putting out some really beautiful work. Yes, for sure. Larry and both sides here. I know this popped in my brain. That would be kind of cool to have a big Ferris wheel down there. Kind of like Coney Island type thing. They have the roller coasters and
Okay, so we're gonna have, I should have some buildings going along here. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, comes in here with another brush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more down in here. All right. I don't know what it is about the eye, but it wants to connect lines. And sometimes you have to be careful about that because of the. Uh, 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 you deal with the, the eye will want to connect it like if it's a part of this and it's not, it's way below it. So kind of fix that just a little bit. Gosh, all these paints drying up on me. I'll tell you what. I don't dare like. So after Wednesday, I won't be back on until probably Sunday. Yeah, because I'll be visiting the parents and all that stuff. So, um, well, uh -oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're getting in there for our ages. Little reminder how fast time goes by. Mm -hmm. Well, Ferris went down there and kind of like an amusement park going along the beach here. Oh, <laughs> you just paint a giant egg, I suppose. <laughs> I'm coming back Saturday. Um, uh, my niece is going to be there. I haven't seen my niece in quite a while. She has a new little one. So I'll, actually, Saturday, I actually come back. So I won't be there on Easter Sunday. But uh, part of that is that they just have so much room, you know, and my parents are quite elderly. And we're both my sister and I don't want to overwhelm them. So that's that's one thing, you know. Just kind of, it's nice that we're going to all see one another. And that's the big thing. Mm 
Well, I think we'll be done with this one this Wednesday. That's my prediction right now. So we'll be on tomorrow and we'll be on Wednesday. And that will be, we'll finish this one up. And what I might do is Empire, uh, instead of Empire Saturday, I'll do Empire Sunday. We'll do that. But I've got to be putting together kind of a portfolio again because I've got a kind of a change out. And I managed to sell a painting, so I was happy. As you know, I, I think I told everybody about that. So, but uh, yeah. Blue moon. I can start another painting too that day. That's a possibility. So, I kind do of that one. Um, uh, it was kind of, in a way you know, a little bit funny because the poor bar owner uh, thought it had been stolen off the wall because the bartender who sold it forgot to log it in and he was like oh I hope it didn't get stolen I said I said Eric I noticed the labels missing and that'd be awfully uh, bold for somebody to go out of, out of this bar with a 30 by 40 paint <laughs> he said oh, that's true so I said I bet, I bet you're going to find out it's sold or something and that's what happened, you know. So well, that was kind of cool. That was my moon painting, Luna. And so I was happy. I mean, obviously, and I guess hobby paid for and then some. You know, that's all I ask. <laughs> We're going to do a reboot here in mid-May, and uh, that's the plan. That is the plan. So let's set that down. Last time I did set that thing down, I poured paint all over a carpet here. Yeah. And you know how you make them, you, you know you're going to probably do something like that, but you still go ahead because you're just stupid and uh, stone <laughs> rock headed, you know what you want to call it. Hard in it. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know how many times I've managed, oh, you shouldn't do that. Boom, do it. And then you shouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, there we are. Paint all over my hands. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. yep. Wipe that off. Let me say, make sure you wipe that blob of paint off because you'll have it all over everything before you know it. <laughs> Blue Moon. Thank <laughs> 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 Mm 
I thought it's interesting when you transformation of our cities here in the U.S. You didn't want to be on the waterfront, and what I'm now. Uh, so, thank you, Madonna. Forty forty. You think we'll we'll be done with this thing Wednesday? So, sunlight's kind of like to come in this direction. So, need to zip those a little better. Talking to myself, full conversation again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my moon painting, that was, yeah, we hadn't sold one there for a little while, but like I said, I'm going to do a big switch out, and I think I've got a couple of large paintings that I wouldn't mind putting in there, uh, besides the 30 by 40s, and I'm just thinking to myself, you know, I think it might be a good, good move. So I'm kind of in there indefinitely. Uh, I think that's an idea I've been rolling around my brain. Remember, the brain is a terrible thing. <laughs> Lumen. <laughs> I forget what actor it was. He says, at least I ended up didn't end up on the love boat. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Let's get in here on this train over here. Yeah. 
Captain Stubing. <laughs> Maury Slaughter from a, a Mary Tyler Moore show. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's amazing how many. I mean, I, I was, uh, oh, they've been adding, like, on, I think it's on Facebook, or doesn't matter, but it, it would just show it all the people that have been on the love boat. Just hilarious. Some who would become actually quite major stars later on in their own right. The plane, the plane. <laughs> I, I was always what was a love boat and then uh Panis Island. <laughs> he was on for how long that love boat was on. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I think what's amazing though is you look at the that ship that was in the um show is just dinky compared to these huge uh cruise ships that we have today. It, 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 I, I remember looking at it, I said, oh my God, that thing's tiny compared to what we have today. I've been on, I was on the, uh, oh, what was it, the Oasis of the Sea. That's huge. It's almost too big of a ship. It became too many people, too many, you know, I don't know. It was I, I I really liked the solstice. That was an awesome awesome, you know. Oh you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have an operated version of it, everybody has to be naked in it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Oh, growl. Okay, so we're going to build work on these buildings here. <laughs> you can thank Larry for that one. Yep, not my fault. <laughs> God, it's been a while since I've been on a cruise, but I had a good time. You know, huge ship. Gosh, those things are huge. <laughs> All right, let's start working on these. We thought it was interesting it was Ricardo Montalban, who was on Fantasy Island, as we know. Um, he still says his face. Oh, well, he's has passed away, but he was saying his favorite part ever was Khan from 
Star Trek, you know. So that was the first first uh, show that he could get his teeth into. He said they never knew how to cast him. I mean, I think there was some horrible casting where he played like a Japanese samurai. Well, hell, he's this big, tall Latin guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. The first one I was on was a carnival cruise, and it got caught in a storm down there in the um, uh, Gulf of Mexico. And boy, that was rough. Well, we got through it, but I was like, man, I didn't think it was ever going to go on a cruise again after that. And then we ended up going on a cruise on the solstice. Which is a beautiful ship, and then the oasis of the sea, and then and that was it. I haven't been on one since, so that's okay. I wouldn't mind doing it's like the Canadian rail uh, going across Canada. He wasn't. He was a big uh, uh, Latino guy. Remember, he used to. Um, I don't know if he was. I think Ricardo Montalban was originally from Mexico. I'm not positive on that one, but um, he. Uh, 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 remember his Cordoba ads. My Cordoba with the Corinthian leather. And the Corinthian leather didn't even exist. It was just uh, something that Chrysler invented. <laughs> Very and a great speaking voice too, I'll tell you. She's here on Facebook, so if you're wondering where she's at, <laughs> I got my two platforms going. These days, I'll figure out how to get them to speak to one another. Hope you're doing well, Donna. Greetings. <laughs> I always thought we should have like a science fiction version of the love boat. Yeah, Darth Vader is Captain Stubby. <laughs> you will fall in love or I'll have you killed. <laughs> I just thought they couldn't come up with a better voice than James Earl Jones. Wow. 
Um, no, we had snow. We, I didn't see that. I was wondering when the hell was going to happen because we had about everything else. No. <laughs> we had snow for a No. Then snow mixed with rain. Then wind. Then snow. And then rain. And then rain mixed with snow again. <laughs> we didn't get the hell else. I think that was the only thing we didn't get. I'm trying to mow along, but it's just, it's like a swamp out there. There's no way. Well, maybe tomorrow we'll get lucky. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Well, well, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I still got the love going through my head. Thank you, Larry. It's all your fault. Oh my goodness. That's stupid. <laughs> I can hear you now. Das, das, stupid. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> and if you misbehave, they throw it overboard. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness. Oh, there you go. And the details here. I'm pretty busy this uh, last few days, maybe a few weeks here. I haven't seen him. Oh, boy. Hear that chair squeak. Mm -hmm. That's a Latino guy, yeah, not yeah, he's but I think he was pretty tall, if I remember right. Or maybe they just made him look like he was tall for the role of a con, you know. Uh, quote Shakespeare in it. I still think that was my favorite Star Trek uh, movie with the con. That was their number two one. The first one, in my opinion, was horrible. But uh, uh, Ron the Con kind of kept the franchise going. Okay.
still think it's interesting. It was Lucille Ball that provided the original funding for Star Trek. And we're going to definitely be done with this one uh, by Wednesday, if not earlier, but uh, we're going to don't have to have too much ridiculous amounts of a, uh, because uh, you'll see why. Because it's it's kind of like a, oh, a scene from like the 1930s, you know. Yes. It is still kind of a fantasy science fiction. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, through her Desi Lu production. Yeah, uh, um, nobody else was really touching with a ten foot pole, and she watched the. Uh, uh, pilot says, I think we've got something here, but then told them to do a new pilot and uh, show, and the rest is history. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. And they said that actually makes her one of the most influential people in the 20th century. Because uh, you think about Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, all those guys, they were geeks, trekky geeks. And they wanted to, and they said that made her automatically, you know, just because. Uh, Star Trek survived because of her rest is history. I think it's kind of cool. I don't know if she was a, a science fiction fan, but she sh sure felt that had a lot of potential. Was she, was she ever right? They said Lucille Ball was an incredibly business person, too. They said that she was very brilliant. She invented uh, reruns because of, she insisted it ought to be video instead of a uh, lot of shows. At one time, when she first started, that was all live because they didn't really have the what capabilities of, um, you know, doing the videos. And she did the videos, and that's why you still have reruns of I Love Lucy. <laughs> Yeah, Lucille Ball. Yep. Got it off the ground. And look at the Mars, 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 black here. Oh, good. Putting in these buildings here. We're, we're definitely going to be done. We might even be done tomorrow night. I will, we'll see. We'll see. I always give myself a little cushion of time, but like I said, they've got to do a big change out, and I really want this one to be in there because I think it would fit their motif a little bit. Oh.
<laughs> so we didn't have that over on YouTube, and we've got Donna on both, and we've got Larry on both. So yay! <laughs> Don't get cross-eyed on me. <laughs> Blame it on the roots. We <laughs> have the Ritz Carlton going up. Big, huge building going up in downtown here. Merrick's on YouTube. If you want to be on um, uh, Facebook, you know, I get, I sent both links in there. So whatever works best for you, that's fine. <laughs> Blame it on the wrist. Mm -hmm. From the snare. Mm -hmm. Blame it on the rich. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said hello to you. Name it on the words. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. going by. Both sides of the track going tonight. <laughs> Holy crap, boys, we're rapidly approaching that time frame here, but I think we've made pretty good progress here. Yeah, I'm really confident we'll either going to be tomorrow night or, or, or Wednesday night we'll be finished with this, and then 
and I go off to the parents and then my off to Spokane, Spokane as I call it. For those who are not familiar, Spokane's in eastern Washington, right along the Idaho border. That's where that is. Spokane's a similar size city to Buffalo and gets about the same amount of snow as Buffalo does. That's not the tallest person on the planet. And we had one snowfall there. If he would have stepped off the back porch, that would have been the end of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, here's the different dynamics having two platforms going on at the same time. <laughs> This too. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be done with this soon. I kind of, I kind of want to give it a, a little bit of a, 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 a rinse to uh, to give it that feeling of it's like an old photograph or something like that. So I have an idea going on in my head. It's brewing. It's scary. Blame it on the roots. <laughs> no idea. Sapira, yes, yes, you win. You win. And that's where I might ruin it completely, and that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're that's kind of the, that's kind of the look I'm going for is that kind of like you know, if it, it was, the picture was photographed in you know 1930 or something, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a little too dark. That dog. On that note, people, we will call it good for this evening. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'll be back on tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific time right out here in Oregon. And um, I, I think we have a good, it's a, we're going to come close tomorrow. If not, not then for sure on Wednesday. 
So we'll get this one done and get a new one started. But like I said, I have to, I'm taking a break uh, for a few days there because I'll be off in Spokane, Washington. So we'll be getting that all in there. Okay, go. Take care. Healthy, stay safe. <laughs> All right. Hope to see you back here tomorrow, 7 p.m. Pacific time. And we'll we'll be getting doggone close to finishing this thing. And then, uh, like I said, uh, Sunday, I won't be back on until Sunday after the uh, after Wednesday. And I plan on starting a new painting. So take care. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Whoa, we got our Zeppelin sideline. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.